Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kamaya and I'm back with another video. Okay, so y'all, as y'all can see by the title, my friends left me when we went on a mission. So, guys, we're just gonna jump straight into the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share. Come back for the next video and come back for more. And make sure y'all go watch some other videos. I got so many story times on my channel. And y'all, I'm going to just continue to do these. And also, make sure y'all watching my short videos as well. Because, y'all, I drop shorts every day. I'm going to start, um, like, scheduling when I make my videos and when I drop my videos. Um, and I'm thinking right about now, I'm thinking Mondays and Fridays is when I'm going to do my story times. So, every Monday and every Friday morning, because I'm going to drop them in the morning, y'all, probably around... 10 to 12 whatever okay so monday from 10 to 12 and friday from 10 to 12 i will be having new story times on my channel okay so y'all can always come back on those two days and expect to see something so without further ado let's get into the video so y'all like i said me and my friends friends because these are not my friends anymore but me and my friends went on a mission if you don't know what a mission is it's basically like a two-man three-man four-man just basically you and your group of friends going to go see another group of uh, another group of boys you know how that shit go oh well, y'all know how that shit go okay so um basically yes y'all they left me with the boys they left me my friends left me with the with the boys that we went to go see so i know y'all probably like what the fuck like why would they leave you how did they leave you like right so hold your horses we about to get into it so basically what had happened was okay so i was talking to somebody in that boyfriend in the boyfriend group i was talking to somebody um we just gonna name him c i was talking to c it was me and I'm okay because I had it was three of us, right? So we're gonna give the other two girls a name. Um, so it's me, and then I'm gonna just say Tay. We're gonna call one of the girls Tay, and we're gonna call one of the girls Nisha. So, and then on the boy side is C, and then we got B, and then we got. Right, y'all it's so hard making them names <laughs> so c b and a fuck it c b and a okay so y'all know i'm talking to c right and nisha is talking to a and i don't believe that tay was talking to anybody she could have been talking to b or she could have just been there you know being cool with him i don't know don't really think that they was talking though but definitely me and C was talking and definitely Nisha and A was talking. So boom, that's what that was, right? So, um, basically, we all is at Tay House. And we all at Tay House and stuff like that. And Tay Mama was kind of like, she didn't give a fuck what Tay did. Like, she was like, Mama, if she had a nigga coming over, she was going to put us out. Like, y'all, it was crazy. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> like, looking back on a lot of shit, that shit just was not right. But we was like 15, 16 at the time. We was trying to be young and turn anyways. So, you putting us out, we about to dip out. We about to go. We about to find somebody that we wouldn't be around anyways. Because you don't want us around you, we don't want to be around you. Simple. So, this is what it was, y'all. So, we had ended up leaving the house or whatever. Because, like I said, the mama basically told us, like, she got some man company coming over and she don't want us there so we just like okay so i call c instantly because this is who i was with, with at the time i was with this person for a really long time y'all i didn't bring him up at other story times and everything so i call c instantly like where's you at i'm about to come see you like we just got put out of here so where's you at i'm about to come wherever you at so he tell me where to meet him up meet, meet him at shit right Y'all, my eyes always late as hell. It's probably like 9, 10 o'clock. Just got dark, but it's still late. It's three of us, three of them. So, 
we walk in and stuff like that. We they probably like two, like probably like two, three miles away. But walking, y'all know that shit gonna take like a good 25, 30 minutes to get there. So it's not that far, but at the same time, it's dark and we still walk in. I don't know what the fuck was our problem, but we just wanted to, we just obviously wanted to be around them niggas that bad. So, y'all, we walk in, we finally end up getting to the little house that they tell us to go to and shit like that, right? So we on this block and shit, we at this house, and they telling us, when we first got there, they told us, like, it's some people upstairs and basically, like, yeah, just don't be loud. So we like, okay, so y'all, we go in this house or whatever, and, like, it was a house that was like Dexter Linwood area. And if you know that area, then you know that area is like a rural area. And it's all, it's kind of messed up around there. And like, it's a lot of two family flats and a lot of them motherfuckers is old. And a lot of them bitches is just not it. So we was in one of them. And when we went in, it wasn't that bad. I'm be honest, it was not that bad. But the setup, if you know the setup of the two family flats, we was downstairs. So you know, you walk in, it's the big ass living room. And then you go right here, you go back there. That's the dining room, kitchen bathroom two rooms so forth right so that's how the house was set up so we get in this house and stuff like that y'all i'm gonna be honest the first couple hours like the first hour or two was cool we dare smoking chilling drink smoke we wasn't drinking i'm sorry because y'all we was young as fuck we couldn't none of us get no liquor but we was just there smoking right we there smoking a little bit we didn't have a lot of weed because y'all we young we ain't had that much money so i think we all had like a like we probably had like a wood or two and we just smoking i don't even think we was really high because the weed probably wasn't even all that back then Cause like I said, we was young, just getting into stuff. We didn't really know what we know. What I, well, I didn't know what I know now. So, yeah, we just smoking, you know, chilling. I'm laying up under my man, uh, Nisha over there, <clears throat> laying up under her man or whatever. And Tay, just on her phone, Tay on her phone, she chilling. She not tripping, she chilling. So, y'all, we there for about an hour, maybe, <clears throat> hour and a half. So, I'm chilling with C. And I think I had ended up seeing C text another girl or something. I seen something, y'all. I can't remember. Because really, I'm I'm talking from a couple from years ago. So I can't remember what I seen. But I know I seen him talking to some other girl or something. And I just start going ballistic. Like about to kill him. Like, y'all, I think I went and grabbed a motherfucking brick or something. And I threw that bitch. Like, I don't even know how it was a brick in the house already. I cannot really tell y'all how it was already a, a brick in that house. But it was a breaking ass bitch, and I just remember <clears throat> his friend B was like, "See, look out, like, hey, bro, like, <laughs> like, he trying to he trying to warn his friend before I fucking knock his head off." So he like, "Hey, hey, watch out, she trying to put up, shut you down." Because at this point we arguing, I'm just mad as fuck. I'm trying to kill him. So I'm like, what? You got me fucked up. Like, the fuck, you got me over here, and you doing this? Like, nah, we're not doing this. So um, after that or whatever, after that incident and shit like that, y'all. I guess I did end up calming down, but I was so mad, y'all. I didn't even wanna, really want to be up there in the living room with him. Because we in the living room, chilling, laying down or whatever. But it wasn't no motherfucking couch in there, y'all. It was like a bed on the floor. So, shit, we laying on the bed on the floor. Feel me? I'm being a down-ass bitch. It is what it is. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah. So, I didn't even want to go back up there. Like, no. So, I went in the bathroom. I'm irritated. I think I was just, like, crying in the bathroom. And my friends came in there with me and shit like that. And we were just all talking and shit like that. And they just basically telling me, like, come on, you get it together. Because, bitch, the, the fucking door to the bathroom was broke off. So, I'm thinking, I think, like, the something happened with that motherfucking door. I don't know if that bitch fell or, like, if I was about to try to hit him with that bitch or what i can't remember y'all but it was something it was one of the two something crazy happened with that though so i don't know but after that um we had ended up saying fuck the living room and everybody just basically transferred into one of the rooms that was back closer by the bathroom because it's like as soon as i was in the, went to the bathroom everybody else just started coming back there going in the rooms back there and basically just like navigating to the back so that's basically what had ended up happening with that and Y'all, now we all in this room. I'm calming down and stuff like that because I don't want to just be in this bitch mad the whole time, right? And this boy that I was with at the time, like, it was, we went through a lot of stuff. So I still loved him. So it just was what it was. Like, I seen what I seen. It was some messages. And I just believe that. I just said, fuck it. Like, I'm not even about to keep on, you know, just going crazy in this bitch. So, yeah, that had to happen. So, y'all, now we in this room. We in this room and we talking to them and stuff. 
and y'all we just chilling at this point now we just chilling and stuff like that like just chilling and out of nowhere tay end up i guess calling one of her hoes or something or talking to one of her hoes or some shit like that and they pull us up to where we at like she didn't gave these niggas the address told them where we at and everything so these niggas pull up so here these niggas pull up mind you i don't know none of these niggas from a can of paint bro from the can to the paint i don't know them, them. like and nisha don't know them either but i don't know y'all so so tay was messing with one of the boys or whatever right it's about to get even worse y'all because it's just like dumb it's really dumb so we had and they had ended up pulling up and stuff and the three boys come outside when they see the niggas pull up and we come outside because they my friend is she on some shit like i'm going with these niggas i'm going like she she don't care about nothing she caught them over there so of course we know her ass is getting in the car but mind you like y'all gotta look at my perspective of it nisha went with her too i don't even know why she she left too but she that both of them bitches was like we going maybe it was because the niggas that they put, had pulled up was a little bit older than, <clears throat> older than us so they probably wanted to be around them at this not a they basically bro hopping not even bro hopping because they weren't bros but y'all get what i'm saying like with these niggas and then y'all call more niggas and now y'all want to go with them like bitch hell no nah. i'm not i'm not about to go with these niggas because i don't know them that's number one i don't know nobody in this car and then it's like five niggas in a car how the fuck is we even gonna fit in this bitch even if i was to come y'all getting this bitch lapping up and shit i'm not about to do that shit and then number two my nigga is right here somebody i've been with for years i'm not about to leave him to get in the car with a whole bunch of niggas that just that in my head just did not seem right bro like i could not do that shit that shit was just weird and then that's really some whole ass shit i never been no whole ass bitch simple so i'm staying with my man y'all bitches want to leave me then leave me it is what the fuck it is i'm staying right here with him i'm not coming with y'all i'm not getting in that car with f five niggas don't even know none of these motherfuckers like what do i look like what the fuck do i look like and then why the fuck are y'all trying to leave me like i'm some real shit and i know i know the people i used to hang around so i knew i knew T tay was leaving i knew that hot pussy bitch was leaving telling y'all i knew she was gonna go because she the one who caught the niggas and not only that she was the friend that was just fucking so many different niggas around the time y'all like she was just going as fuck so knew that bitch was leaving i ain't even give a fuck but when tay left too i'm like oh so you a follower you're a follower okay so y'all they sure enough got in the car with them niggas sure enough pulled off with them niggas and everything so at this point i go back in the house with my man <laughs> I was recognize my man and they just like damn like they really left you like they weird them not your friends and i should listen back then at them home with my friend still was cool with them bitches after this shit y'all like for like two three years and of course like i told y'all these bitches is not my friends no more because god is gonna reveal it he gonna show you and he gonna tell you who should be in your life and who should not i got i'm getting so many blessings these days and i'm so happy a lot of people is not around because i feel like if they was i probably wouldn't even be getting my blessings you know what i'm saying y'all this is something old from my childhood so let's just keep going with the story so y'all they the boys just looking like because really i knew the boys for a long time too i wasn't scared to stay with b c and um a i wasn't scared to stay with them because i know them like no been knowing these niggas for years and years and years they not about to do nothing to me you feel me like this is gang they ain't about to do nothing to me and then c ain't letting nobody do shit to me simple c ain't even c everybody c was the type of nigga that motherfuckers was scared of so they know i'm his girl they gonna respect me simple ain't nobody about to come step on my toes ain't nobody about to come make me uncomfortable ain't nobody about to do nothing to me simple and that was one thing that i loved being around him i felt protected as fuck so when they left me, I ain't give a fuck. I'm not with my nigga. Y'all bitches is dumb as fuck. Y'all are the ones who going into danger because y'all don't know these niggas for real. Get in these niggas' cars and shit like that. So, boom, they leave me. And the boys, like I said, the boys was just like threw off like the fuck. But was what it was, right? So the rest of the night go out, play out and stuff like that. I think C ended up getting me some food from Coney. We eating and stuff like that. And 
y'all we just chilling like at this point me and him we had ended up getting our own little room in the back of the house whatever and y'all i was just chilling with my man the whole night we, we playing music well he was playing music and y'all i just remember that night like it was yesterday and we were just laying down it was another bed in the back so we laying down on that bed now we on instagram we talking y'all i was a virgin at the time so of course didn't nothing happen or nothing like that at the time um and yeah like that was that so basically the next morning come and see getting ready to take me back to tay house right because that's where we came from so he getting ready to take me back to tay house we ain't got no cars or nothing y'all we young as fuck so he ended up i think he had a bike and i know damn well i did not ride that bike and i know damn well he did not ride that bike I think he was walking the bike and I was walking next to him. And we just walking to, to like I said, Tay Mama house was like two, three miles away. So we walk in or whatever, we walk into the house, stuff like that. He ended up ditching the bike because I guess he just didn't feel like riding, driving, like pushing that bitch no more. He ended up ditching his bike and he was just like, I'm gonna come back and get it. You feel me? Like, I'm just gonna continue to walk with you to take you here. And when I'm on the way back, I'll just get on my bike. Da, da, da. Cool, whatever, not tripping. So y'all, that that's exactly what happened. He took me to he took me to the corner of her house and kiss hug bye love you da da. That was the end of that night. So once I get back to Tay House and I get in there and shit, I wanna say I was texting them like the whole morning, texting them like, is y'all back at the house? Is y'all here? Like I have to been talking to them in some type of way. And they was probably telling me like, yeah, we back here or something. But y'all, we I get back to the house with these hoes and they got a whole motherfucking story to tell me. They telling me how they left these niggas and I'm guessing these niggas then left them stranded somewhere and they, you know, where the fuck they was at and basically how the niggas was really weird and like I said, left them stranded somewhere. So these bitches ain't end up having to find their way back to take my house too. So I'm in my head like, so y'all left me to go somewhere that y'all didn't even know where y'all was going with some niggas that you barely even know to get stranded? Like, you bitches is dumb. Simple. I can't put it another way. You bitches is dumb. So, yes, y'all, they fucking left me. And I always hung, hung that shit over their head. Like, y'all bitches is weird. Y'all bitches left me that day. Like, I, I was talking about that shit for like a whole year straight. Like, y'all bitches left me, y'all bitches left me, y'all bitches left me. And it's really more to the story, but like I said, it's so old. I can't remember every single detail, but y'all, <clears throat> yeah, that had ended up happening, y'all. And like, I should have knew bitches was weird that day. I swear to you, because I got some more, more story times about about them, and they was just weird and off and did weird stuff. And it was like I just used to always give motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt, and I used to always want to just be cool with somebody because I love somebody. I got a big heart, so I just want to overlook the bad. No. That ain't me no more. I promise y'all, I'm a totally different person. And it's like, I had to grow up, for real. But yes, y'all, that is the story. Like, I think I ended up leaving that day and going back home. Like, I wasn't even at Tay House no more after that shit. I ended up going the fuck home because I didn't even want to be around motherfuckers no more. I wanted to go home. So that's what I did. I went the fuck back home. And that was the end of that. Like, <laughs> y'all, it was so crazy. Like, that shit was just crazy as fuck. Young as hell doing all that shit. But that's the story time on how me and my friends went on the mission and they left me. Yeah, they left me. So I hope y'all enjoyed this story time because I showed up and enjoyed telling y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share. Y'all definitely got to make sure y'all commenting on here because everybody tell me they watch my story times and they watch my stuff. I will never know if you watched anything if you don't comment. And I'm not going to keep saying that. Like, I be having to tell everybody this. Like, y'all have to comment say something like i don't give a fuck if y'all just saying hey i really do not care like that's how i would know that you was here if you comment if you just watching and then you clicking off that's not how am i gonna know it don't tell me who view it don't tell me who liked my stuff so i need to know only way i'm going to know is if you comment on my content like so yeah that's that's that and like I said, be looking out for my new story times every Monday and Friday. Thank y'all so much. Bye. <laughs>